I'm finally ready to eat, I think. Oh, look at my fancy clothing. I got the brown shirt and brown pants. Brown shirt, brown pants dance. Brown shirt and a brown pants dance. You fall and you break, you got battles to take them, but you figure it out, yeah. When you fall and you break, you got changes to make now. You're probably thinking, wow, after yesterday's video, I'm surprised that you're even gonna even talk to people. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was pretty rough, man. Just, it was like, there was nothing bad, but man, my attitude just not. <laughs> I just want to quit everything. And then today I'm like, I'm just taking it um, easy on myself. I mean, I went out and I shoveled a bunch of poop because of all my rabbits and the quail I have out there, which I never show you guys. But I, but uh, yeah, I was shoveling and getting all my manure and compost ready. Yeah, I still like the garden. And, uh, maybe this year I'll eat a couple things. I don't know. So, I didn't eat breakfast because I didn't want to. And I was like, I'll just eat a, a good hearty lunch. So I had two pieces of bacon left. So I was like, do you know what? I'll just put this sliced chuck on here. One pound. I'm gonna put it in the oven, but I'm gonna salt this beef with this salt that some of it fell in that pan and sizzled like pop rocks. But I'll, I'll just cook this in the oven and see how it turns out. I'm gonna eat some eggs too, so quite a bit of stuff but I got someone I work with gave me this bacon and I, they brought me more I'm pretty sure it's pre-cooked used by June 2024 it looks pre-cooked to me I mean that's all right my wife has already ate a bunch of it I'll get to it so when I say I'm out of bacon it's not true so I have a bunch of hamburger I bought yesterday and I got all this chuck that it sliced the eat I'm gonna throw this in here I'll Start at 15 minutes and check it. It's usually around 17, just depending on what temperature I turn on, if it's preheated, how cooked I want my bacon, because I don't mind floppy bacon and crisp bacon. I've been seeing it every day recently, I feel like, but I really need to work on what my goals are for myself. Really need to consider where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I want to do, and why. I find myself being a little bit irritable the last couple days. I stopped losing weight. Can you guys keep it down? I'm trying to think over here. Constant chitter chatter. I'm trying to do something in here. Can you just go sit and finish your lunch? Please. What you're thinking, what you're th looking for is yes, dad. That's how we know that they heard us. But I'm sticking at 225. But I feel, I feel all right other than my shoulders hurting me a lot and I'm, I'm thinking that's just residual from working out like just doing bench presses wrong i've been doing them like this but like way lighter but i'm feeling it i mean i'm feeling strong i'm feeling like i'm feeling sk skinnier even though i'm not losing weight anymore but like i just i'm just feeling stronger and healthier and able but i, I still get tired and i still get cranky and i start getting i still get in my own head sometimes when it comes to health and what that looks like and i just man being on a challenge like this with an end date and not seeing as much progress i did two years ago on my first 90 days not seeing that change quick enough as fast and being acclimated to a diet for a while where it's not the changes and the differences aren't so stark that you're not like pumped up with adrenaline has been a interesting road for me and i think a lot of people may think that i'm not like a carnivore proponent because I keep saying things like, I don't think it's 100% necessary for everyone. I don't think everyone needs to eat 100% strict carnivore for the rest of their lives. That's not, it's not that I'm not a proponent of it. I just don't think long term, it's 100% necessary that you eat beef, salt, and water and nothing else. It, it's not necessary. God is taking me somewhere mentally and you're watching me wrestle every single day and get angry and irritated and just cynical 
and being the uh, devil, devil's advocate and wrestle through these things. I am, I am not a scholar. I'm not an artist. I'm not anything except for who I am right now, but changing daily in the way I think and try and growing and wrestling with stuff and growing. I had food issues that I didn't realize. The carnivore diet helped me heal a bunch of those food, food issues. And then being on the carnivore diet gave me different food issues of how I should think about food and wrestle through it. And like, I'm absolutely not doing this. And now I feel like there's still changes going, but I always want to be on guard. I always want to be mindful. I always want to remember where I came from, but I think right now I really need to know where I'm headed. I need to know where I'm headed. That finding your why and reassessing where you're at and where you're going is very important, especially, especially when you want to give up. And I don't want to give up. Get up, it's like, I give up. Just, I don't want to, all the brain space, all the think, yeah, th yeah thinking about it, the brain space. Uh, just watching it on YouTube, learning about it, it just, sometimes it just gets so exhausting. So that'll be my exercise, hopefully, for today or tomorrow. The, think of where I'm going, what I'm gonna do, and then go from there. You need something, or are you just watching me talk to the camera? He's just over there like, I'm gonna need to watch this video. You're gonna need to watch this video? Yeah. Do you think I should just like have the camera pointing at my butt while I talk? No. Would that be That's good? That's inappropriate. Nobody's gonna do that? That's good. Yeah. That was a test. Good job passing the test. Two thumbs up. You should All make right. a video where you don't edit anything. I should, oh, make a video where I don't edit anything? I've done, I uploaded some of those. Yeah. It's scary. Okay. I'll come back to you when this is done. I can feel my excitement returning because the prospect of food. It's like, why would I ever consider eating this way? It makes me happy. I love food. I love this food. But there's just something about my personality. I get bored. I mean, I love routine. I love routine, but then I need to be challenged. I need to be, so I get bored. Like, well, I haven't ate this duck fat because it's not on my diet right now. I love curry powder. You know, when I do carnivore dirty style, curry powder. I love it. Gar granulated garlic for dirty. I love it. Just here and there, not like it doesn't have to be all the time. And I also have my hump fat. I guess I could eat this. I keep forgetting I have it because it is a ruminant animal. Maybe tomorrow, some eggs and hump fat. All right, that looks great. Let me grab a holder. Yeah, I mean, they could probably, I'll turn it off, but I'll just put it back in there until I finish cooking these eggs. A little bit more rendering. But I poured the, the bacon fat and the beef fat into this pan to cook my eggs. Four or six eggs. <laughs> going six, I'm going big, or going home. One, two, three, four, five. And here's where you could see the difference between eggs with shells in it and eggs without shells. Oh man, I broke a yolk. Man, it's all right. I might scramble this anyway. Salt it before I just keep talking and forget. Can you see this? There is uh, farm-raised grain-fed eggs, or yeah, not pasture rage raised and these are pasture raised ones you can see the difference now this is a this is going to be a good lunch i'm going to eat it and i'm going to i'm going to just uh relax yeah i'm going to scramble this one have that fat incorporated and just give myself a fat bomb for the day it seems weird fat bomb my wife has given me some ideas about maybe you know, changing up some of the way i do content because i know People do appreciate this and showing everybody what I mean every day and me being weird and silly, but then you know, depressive and just trying to show my real life and real thoughts. Try not to hide stuff. Be myself as best as I can. But it was like, I don't know, I've tried a lot of different things. Like some of the editing takes forever. Some of it, like this doesn't take me that long, but it's still every single day I'm doing it. It's a lot to 
remember not to forget and i forgot to take a couple pictures i don't know just thinking the different ways i could serve the carnivore low carb communities not to say that i'm anything special but like it's it's like i've i've learned things and i've grown through things and i'm wrestling through things and that, that has to give value to people you're struggling through things and having hard times and wrestling and stuff like that it makes it more worth it to me if you're able to use it to help people or it's worth something i don't know what i'm saying i'm kind of just just reminded, reminded of like some of my past escapades as a criminal and an addict and a, an alcoholic and all that kind of stuff and it's like all that struggle and all that pain is almost worth it once you get out of it and you can help somebody else just try to give back and i always say the number one thing you can do is be available well it's feel like it's harder and harder, getting harder and harder for me to be available all the time because God also has me serving my wife and my eight children. I'm trying to do it all, man. I'm trying to, trying to do all it all in in balance. Yeah. Well, that's that's a good hearty lunch. Should I try this before I take a picture of it? I need a little bit more salt. That chuck is not like super tender, but I love the taste of. You know, chuck meat, chuck tastes good. And the fat in it, when you get those big chunks of fat, oh, that's great. I'll take a picture of this. I'll see you guys later. My wife has gone with a bunch of kids. She went to work today, so she doesn't have to work tomorrow. And my kids are like testing for their Bible memorization right now. Not all of them, all but like three of them. And then she's leaving to have like women's night. So I'm home with the kids tonight. I think she made chicken and rice for the kids soup and for me i might eat something similar if i'm hungry we'll see if i'm not then i'm not if i am then i am well wow. rambling ramble on man i just got off a long conversation with a brother in christ that was encouraging me and i'm thankful for you to put this on the internet if you see it you know who you are i was i was uh just hanging out with the kids my wife went out and then i was like i'm not that hungry I'm not that hungry like, I am hungry. How will I ever survive without food? Day 41, beef, butter, bacon, eggs. So I have already started cooking some bacon. This bacon that a friend gave me. Look, at it's like, I feel like it's pre-cooked, but like that's nothing compared to the bacon that I usually eat. Like how many, how do I count this? Is it three to one? Because it's almost like, Three the four to one. Three. This is this is how you you lie. Like yeah, calculator. One, two, three, four. I'll just say five pieces of bacon. And do I want beef or do I just want eggs? I think I'll do a little bit of beef also. Because hey, you gotta live. This sliced chuck is very tasty, but it's not necessarily tender. Hello camera. You wanna come closer? I'll hang out closer. Hey, there, there's that smile, Aaron. I wish I was more confident and less whiny and less bipolar when it comes to, you know, my determination. Like, I feel like I just go back and forth on things and waffle. Let's heat this thing up, add a little bit of bacon fat because it makes it better. But I wrestle through things. I found a channel on YouTube earlier that said that it was like recommended, like as a, like a competition for the Kilby Life channel. And I forget the guy's name, it was something like in front of the camera, ASMR. And it's literally like video after video of a guy like drinking Sprite, eating a Subway sandwich, uh, making ba uh, eggs and bacon and toast and eating it on camera without talking. And it's like, he gets videos that have like hundreds of thousands of views. So whatever. If that's if that's what you guys want me just to do some ASMR. I can't even say it. <laughs> sit, sit and, mm, pass. So weird. All right, I'll just crisp this up real quick. Yeah, really. This chuck. Whenever I get a, a fatty piece and I bite into it, oh, that, that flavor is so good. So again, I'm gonna be working on what are my goals gonna be when I'm done with this challenge. What kind of direction is the channel going in? And I'm gonna to try to determine all these things before I get there. And obviously, I've been, you know, get some advice from my wife. That'd be good. 
pepper involved in it. But part of me is like, I feel like I need to apologize for yesterday's video because I was just overly sensitive and irritable. But then at the same time, I don't want to apologize because I meant every word I said, at least to a certain degree. I meant it at the moment how I was saying it. So today has been better. Today has been better. Tomorrow is the Super Bowl. And unfortunately, football was ruined by Taylor Swift. So I don't really watch a lot of football, but I'm going to be rooting for the 49ers. Unfortunately, I feel that the Chiefs are probably going to win because that's been uh, what's been happening. Life is tough. All right, I'm going to go look at my calculator and see where I'm at for today. That was the eight ounces. Oh, hold on. I'll be back. It seems I may have got a bunch of messages that I will need to look in. Got an email from somebody trying to encourage me, I believe. Is there no spatulas in this house? What in the world? Oh, there it is. And I was looking at my allotment for today, my calculator, like, and I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna eat half a pound of chuck. That's gonna be five pieces of bacon, even though it's 15 <laughs> and five eggs. And it's about 40 grams over fat and protein, which 70, that'd be like an optimal, like if you go by like one gram of fat and protein equal like uh, to your goal weight, that'd be, put me at a goal weight of 210 pounds. I think 210 is actually too light for me. I would have to get very lean and I was just having that a conversation with somebody who's like, I think you're under eating. Like maybe, maybe not. But I'm, I'm experimenting with this and I'm not losing weight right now. So it's either my body's under stress or my calculator's wrong or it is what it is. But it's a good experiment. I know that, I know that I, you know, I'm tired and hungry a lot here and there, but I still, when I feel strong, I feel really strong. Five eggs. I usually don't eat this late, but every once in a while it's nine o'clock. I try to be in bed by 10 every night. Three. I don't have to be at church tomorrow till 11, so I don't have anything I need to do in the morning. I'll still get up at 6 a.m. because of my prostate. No, not really, just because. My internal clock, I gave up. I gave up alarm clocks years ago. I think I'm gonna do these ones over easy because I had them scrambled earlier. Gotta have some different textures and, you know, like snot texture and different kind of snot textures. I should just stop. That's a lot of, not mad at it, not mad at it. All right, I, I wanna thank everyone for watching these videos. I, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the criticism and the motivation and the kind words. I do appreciate it. It's, it's growing me, it's growing me and maybe I'm not sure how I come across on camera. It, I, it's growing, I mean, it's making me into a better person. And I thank you guys for that. I thank you for that. And I'm, I just, perspective, perspective. God's using me and I'm thankful for that. You guys have a blessed evening. I'll see you tomorrow with my clothes on. Most of the time, probably. Yeah, most definitely. Maybe tomorrow will be the day that I just strut around in bathing suits get some glam shots, you know, so I upload on YouTube. Maybe I do a little bit of bronzing, bronze myself, because my mom told me once that cellulite looks better tanned. Stuck with me, stuck with me, weirdo. All right, let's subscribe now. It's only gonna get weirder.